This is Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Welcome to Bryant-Denny Stadium, home of the Crimson Tide. This place is charged up and ready for a big game today. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Auburn Tigers, taking on the 15th ranked team, the Alabama Crimson Tide. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Alabama will kick it off to get us underway. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. So Auburn's offense comes on the field first today. So here we go. Just about every man, woman, and child of this state holding their breath. There's nothing quite like the Iron Bowl's intensity. Well, Chris, you and I love college football. We love the rivalries. And this is a game that we know so much typically is at stake, not just in the rankings, but just within this state. Catch made on the right side. That's a big game. And the replay booth has signaled they want to stop and have another look at this one. So after taking a closer look, the officials are going to overturn that previous ruling on the field. Tackle, but first down. Man, this is exactly how you want to start an opening drive on the road for this offense. Really well-blocked play. Pick up some nice yardage. And if you're at this offensive line, this is exactly what you talked about all week long in your meetings. Establish the line of scrimmage and take control of things up front, especially early in this game. They give their running back plenty of room to run. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. There's such a living history to this rivalry game, Kirk. They began playing back in 1893 and so many dramatic chapters since then. You know, growing up in the Big Ten region, I always had an appreciation for the Iron Bowl, watching Auburn and Alabama every year. But really, it wasn't until 1996, my first year on college game day, when you and I were down there. Watched it firsthand. It was my first experience in seeing it. And there's just nothing like watching Auburn and Alabama in person. But a huge collision blow delivered there by the linebacker. Chris, it just feels like the offense is almost teasing the defense with this play. As an offensive coordinator quarterback, you're often looking for that soft spot in the zone. And here, they do a nice job of finding that hole for a nice game. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. Heavy pressure, he lets it go. Just gets the pass away, but took a shot that time. Oof, the risk of throwing on third and short. Lots of second guessing going over on that sideline about that play call. You got to wonder if they're going to go for it anyway on fourth down, but what will be the play call? So on their first possession of the game, the offense stays on the field, and they'll go for it. But it's incomplete. The defense makes a fourth down stop. So Alabama's offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. If there's one guy on this defensive side, Kirk, who can be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher, very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket, and also, he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. Off the play fake on first down. Receiver makes the grab. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. You'll recall the last time they played, it was the Crimson Tide making just enough plays, Kirk, to pull out a close victory. And Chris, let's face it, that's what the Iron Bowl is supposed to be about. No matter who wins the game, it's always a lot of fun when it comes down to the final few minutes. I got a feeling it's going to be like that again today. They're going to run it here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside.
Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Tries the right with a quick throw. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Boy, Chris, what a hit there on that third down play by the defensive back. If he doesn't make that play, that's probably a first down, and they move the sticks. Instead, we've now got fourth down. So check it out. Here comes the field goal team. They are a long way out, putting a lot of trust in the kicker here. A tremendous make. He's got a howitzer for a leg. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. He'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field. Last possession, they went for it on fourth down, but got stoned. Let's see what they can do this time. They'll tackle him at the 27. You know, the good thing about this play is it's not an explosive play, but it really gives you a chance now to be able to pick up a first down here on this next play. Important second down play coming up. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. It was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Hunter. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. That's a great play by this offense to keep the drive alive and a good find by the quarterback on third down. Auburn getting set with a first and ten now. Quarterback still with the football. He picks up nine, so just short of the first down, second and one. Well, I think we can all see how tough it is to control this guy under center today for this defense, but they did a nice job of keeping him contained. But they've got to stay focused. They can't get lazy because we could see him breaking one any moment against this defense. Second down after that run on the previous play. The shotgun handoff here. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Positive yards. That's all you want to see as an offense. As long as you're moving the ball forward, it's going to give you a chance to continue to get first downs. What are they looking at now? Third and in inches, it looks like. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? And the play is good enough for a first down. They'll move the ball to the 44. Yeah, I love how the back didn't really dance around trying to make a big play. He knew it was third down in inches, lower the shoulder, get the first down. This Auburn offense is moving quickly down the field. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Caught over the middle, it's Lewis. They bring him down after a short game there. Well, they don't pick up the first down here, but if you can use the quick passing game to stay ahead of the chains, it definitely helps your offense. And if that defense starts to creep up and take that away, that's when you can take a shot downfield. Getting set. Here's second down. Grab behind the line. It's Coleman. The tackle is made, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what that's about. Costly holding penalty there. Backs him up 10 yards. Offense lines up. This is the seventh play now in this drive. Using his legs. It's Hunter. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. So the counter play doesn't work. The defense in good position that time to make a play. 
You know, on most of these counters, you leave the in man in the line of scrimmage unblocked, and you try to pull those offensive linemen to kick him out. But if you have an aggressive defense, sometimes that can backfire, and the defense knew exactly what was coming there. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Running back has it on a screen now. Defense makes the stop. The screen pass doesn't produce a first down, and now it's fourth down. Great job here by the defense. Third down and long. You drop back in coverage, keep everything in front of you, force that quarterback to have to check the ball down, and then you rally to the football to force this fourth down. Great job here by the D. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. Oh, it landed at the 7 and bounced into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. They were fortunate to get points on the last possession because of a long-range field goal. Just a small game looking at 2nd and 9. now goes in motion looking downfield it's Milro looks toward the sideline finds the running back defense surrounds him just a short gain on that completion we see this all over the country now in college football defensive back staying back a little bit deeper forcing the quarterback to have to throw things in front I like the decision here by the quarterback because he gets positive yards it's a good way of staying ahead of the chains so a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26 yard line and the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Has his incomplete, but a penalty marker on the play that should result in a first down. Man, playing defensive back has got to be the toughest job out there right now in college football. You get isolated on islands against these freaky, talented receivers. It's hard enough to be able to stay up with them and try to make a play on the ball. And oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. 10. He takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Alabama. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Simmons. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field now. The last drive, they came up empty. Had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? Quick throw to the left side. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. back it's thorn makes a quick grab he's brought down quickly as short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker love to see the short passing game is a great go-to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable and allows you to see how the defense is reacting that can open up for other things later on that completion sets up a third down play drops back from the shotgun looking for an open man he makes the grab they get him down, but the game moves the ball up to the 36. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. Auburn getting set with a first and 10 coming up. 
Quarterback drops back. There's a screen pass to the running back. And the offense going backwards in that play. Defense makes a stop to wrap up the first quarter. So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. They jumped out to an early lead in that opening period. Let's take a quick look at the stats so far. And as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? From the gun, he looks for an open man. Makes a quick catch. It's a big gain all the way to enemy territory, tackled at the 45. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Movement at the second level of the defense now. This Auburn offense is moving quickly down the field. And the back gets the football. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll feed the back again. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Boy, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. To the air, it's Thorne. Looking for the wide out. He finds a man to the left, big catch downfield. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and ten. Hand off to the back. Stop after a small gain. Now look at it, second and nine. This will be the ninth play on the drive. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Finding enough space for a solid gain before they stop him. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. And the crowd coming to life here, trying to help this defense down in the red zone. And third and short to try to pick it up on the ground. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? A quick throw out left, complete. Brought down at the three after the completion. The offense really threatening now. I love how this quarterback is finding this slot receiver. Not only is he tough to handle, but it's what he's doing after the catch. He has such wiggle and quickness. He's tough to bring down, and you see more positive yards after the catch here. Here we go. First and goal. A touchdown here gets him right back into this game. To the air. It's Thorne. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Second down and goal.
They're going to score with a run to the right. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Auburn. Chris, it's a great touchdown run here by this back. But the continuity this offensive line was on display, and that's the reason he was able to get into the end zone. Kicking team on now for the extra point. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. But when you sit back and play zone defense like this, what you allow is your defense to have eyes on the football. Here, they give up the catch, but you can see how they rally to the football. There's just nowhere to go for this slot receiver. Second down after that run on the previous play. He'll hand it off. Solid run. They'll bring it down to the 28-yard line. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. It's an RPO. The quarterback gets it out quickly. And it's good for a first down to the 36. Great execution on the RPO. Quarterback does a nice job as he's putting the ball into the belly of the back, making sure to read his key. This defense was determined. They came up to stop the run. Quarterback saw it, pulled it out, hit the quick slant right behind it for some great yards. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. Well, it's a big risk to play man-to-man -man coverage by this defense, and this time they get caught. Great timing between the quarterback and his receiver. You can see what can happen when that timing is right. Big things can happen. One back in the backfield, and he'll get the carry. Tackle is made very near midfield. Good enough for a first down. Chris, I don't know. There's just something about that Bama uniform. When they run the football, it just feels right. It's a combination of having those big offensive linemen a really physical approach at the line of scrimmage, and backs that are able to pick up first downs like that right there. Beautiful play. On first and ten, looking to throw. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. Brought down quickly, but not before a big game. Moving to the 35. A nice throw and a great catch by another Alabama wide receivers. And that's really where we are anymore with Alabama. You just come to expect great receivers like this. You think back in recent years to Amari Cooper and Jerry Judy, Jalen Waddell, Devontae Smith. The list goes on and on. And boy, they've got some great-looking receivers on this squad. Downfield shot falls incomplete. Couldn't quite connect there. That ball just seemed to sail on it got to make sure to give your receiver a chance to be able to come down with a catch and bounce because in today's game, man, these receivers make catches like this all the time. And if you put the ball out of bounds, you're not going to give them that opportunity. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. Scanning the field. It's Milrow. He pulls it in for a big game. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. You know, plays like this are what Alabama offense is all about. They run the football, and then they're efficient within their passing game. Think about it. They won a couple national championships with Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron by just being efficient and playing smart at the position and being a great complement to that running game in the defense. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Strong game by this quarterback. 
This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. And now they'll set up for the point after. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. And the return will be brought down. That's the two-minute warning. Let's see if this offense can do something before the break to cut into this big lead. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. What a huge play for this offense as this half is coming to a close. Here's where you've got to get a little greedy because what seemed like a driver, you're happy to maybe come up with three points. Now you've got a real shot to maybe put the ball in the end zone. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Looking to make a play deep downfield. It's picked off. He tried to fire the ball into a tight window. Now look at the return after the interception. Sets the offense up in good shape. Boy, great hands by the defender to take that ball away and pretty much steal it from the intended receiver. I don't know if I'd be targeting that defender very many more times. Offense coming back onto the field. Offense protecting the lead here, but they've been playing so well. Let's see if they go for more before halftime. And he's got it. And the game just good enough for a first down. Tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. I think the defense got fooled here. They thought that receiver was going to go deep downfield. He ends up curling back to the inside for a nice game. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense to throw it's Milrow quick throw to his receiver physical defending that one falls incomplete brings up second down <laughs> quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here and he'll loft it to the end zone and this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Chris, not only really good coverage here by the defense, but I love their awareness. That ball is in the air, headed to the end zone, and the ball is separated from the receiver with the contact. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. On third down, he drops to throw. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. And he puts it out of bounds, so no return. And the Auburn offense back out on the field. They've got a choice here in the final minute that they get aggressive, try to cut into this lead or play it safe and point toward the second half. Grab down the middle. It's Lambert Smith. And a timeout is called. Important stage late here in the second quarter. Boy, Chris, great timing here with the quarterback against that zone defense, waiting just at the right time to deliver it into that window to pick up a nice game. With the catch, it's Lewis. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. 
defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. You call a quick out on third down, I think that tells you the confidence you have in a quarterback to be able to make that throw. And on top of that, a little surprise the defense would give that kind of cushion to be able to give him room to pick up that first down. Looking to throw, it's Thorne. Receiver makes the catch. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. They look to throw it here on second down. Caught over the middle. It's Hunter. Timeout is called to talk strategy. Time for just one or two plays here before halftime. So on first down, the field goal unit will come out there trying to get three points before the half. And he's got it from 47 yards away, showing off the deep range. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Guys, from Tuscaloosa to the Plains, there are some ornery folks and some emotional fan bases enjoying a soda pop and a lot of trash talk in this battle between the Tide and War Eagle. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Alabama and Auburn plays out. The kickoff team out there now to get this second half underway. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. And they'll start the third quarter here on the ground. Breaking free at the 35. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Big runs like this are just demoralizing for a defense. It's one thing to give up big plays over your head against the pass game. When teams can run the ball and pick up yards like this, really affects the team's mental psyche and their confidence. And you'll start to see some missed tackles following a play like this. On first down, it's play action. And it's caught across the middle. Brought down, but broke the tackle to produce a solid gain there. As the tight end flexed out into the slot, looking for a matchup there, Kirk. Well, it is a matchup because he has the size where he's very difficult to be able to match up for his safety. And he's got the speed to be able to outrun a linebacker. That's why they like to flex him out like that and be able to pick up nice big gains like this. Using his legs, it's Haynes. He's brought down, but not before crossing midfield of the 42. This offense continues to roll. We wondered would this defense come up with some answers at halftime. Not on that play. Now they've tried to make every adjustment they can. This offense has been very impressive with the way they're able to keep this ball on the ground, churning out big yards. I think they're gaining more confidence, really, as this game goes on. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. When you throw an out route against man coverage, and it puts a premium on a receiver who can set up the defensive back to be able to still have room to get to the outside and be timed up with a quarterback. That was great execution. The game makes it second and medium. Looking to pass, it's Milrow. On the run here, lets it go. It's a short completion of the tight end. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. 
That'll put him over 150 yards today, Kirk. He is putting on a show on this big stage. How great is this? On this stage, as you mentioned, Chris, just playing his best game. He's been in sync with his receivers. Back there, has time to throw. Just having a dream performance. And looking to throw now on first down. Catch hauled in here over the middle. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Second down after that previous play. Offense looking to throw the ball. Grab down the middle. It's Miller. Tackle is made at the eight-yard line. It'll be first and goal right there. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. In the red area, it's Haynes. Couldn't quite get there, but brought down at the one-yard line. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here, and he's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Solid first down gain sets the ball up close to the goal line, and they finish it off here on second and goal. It's a QB run all the way. And the defense smothers him for no gain. They'll try to punch it in again. Third and goal at the one. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Bama! Still no answer for this offensive machine. Well, the energy really building now, Kirk. If they're not careful, this could get ugly. Chris, this offense has been impressive the entire game. And one of the great things about rivalry games is you'll never forget this kind of performance. Planning up to try the extra point. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Now they get set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Auburn offense trots back onto the field. Tough to win these games kicking field goals. They know they need to reach the end zone this time. And it's incomplete, just out of the reach of the receiver. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. They got to get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. Incompletion sets up a second down. On the ground, it's Hunter. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. Dropping back, it's Thorne. Fires it to the wideout. And it's intercepted. He stepped in front of that bullet. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. A beautiful, balanced drive reached the end zone last time. Can they keep it going here? Grab made by the tight end. Tackled at the eight after the completion. 
Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. And Greg, the defense has to pay attention to them. Often too much attention opens up an underneath drag route like this, and quarterback makes a good read. Nice first down. Alabama's offense now lining up on first and goal. And he drops back in the gun. Tried to squeeze one in there, but it's incomplete. Second down and goal, upcoming. Play action fake, looking to throw. Makes the defender miss. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. This would be a big disappointment to get this starting field position and have to settle for three. It's third and ten. That's a designed quarterback keeper. He'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown. Tied. And look out now. The Tide are beginning to really roll. Kirk, this is getting away from the Auburn Tigers right now. Yeah, kind of a game of momentum. Alabama has had the upper hand. And now after this score, you're right. This thing could get out of reach. See if they can convert the point after. And the extra point makes it a three touchdown lead. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Turner trying to create good field position. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Down he goes. A sack. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. Short loss on the play sets up second and long from the 18. Send the back in motion. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here. Down multiple scores. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. And he throws his third interception of the day. Tackle made on the return, but the takeaway sets up the offense at the 37 now. Well, how about the defense here? Sitting back in cover two, taking away anything deep downfield. It puts pressure on the underneath coverage. The linebackers have to have some awareness. This linebacker did a nice job of being able to step up and make that interception. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. This group has been clicking. They really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. <laughs> Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. Chris, how about the combo there of speed and power to be able to get to the quarterback here by this defensive lineman? Auburn defensive lineman, one thing you can always count on is they have speed and they have an awareness to know how to pressure that quarterback. That sack sets up a second down and very long. Scanning the field, it's Milrow. Short throw complete to the tight end. And they bring him down. That's a very solid gain, but still well short of the marker. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands.
That completion sets up an important third down play. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. And they will trot out the field goal team here. He was on the mark with his last kick, but this one is from 50 yards away. And he's made it from 50 yards out, showing off the deep range. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. So after adding to this big lead, they are set to kick it away. Fields it just outside the goal line. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field now. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. They'll hand it off. Game moves the ball out past the 25-yard line. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and 10. Second down after that run on the previous play. He hands it to the back. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Boy, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Back to throw. It's Thorne. There's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. Defense jumps on the ball. It's a turnover. How about this defense flying in there trying to get their hat on the ball? They do, and they're able to pounce on it for a big turnover. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. The last drive produced three points thanks to an excellent long-range field goal. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. On the run, it's Miller. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, it's not been their day as a defense, but you can see they have not given up. What a big hit into the backfield that time. And so far, we have been treated to a serious quarterback duel. Both these guys putting on a show so far. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Makes the catch. Can he get in? Doesn't quite make it. Forced out at the one. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game. And it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can he keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? Touchdown, Alabama. And this one is getting ugly. Chris, you talk about having a day. This offense just goes out. They don't, they're not even looking at the scoreboard. They're just going out, executing the play called, and continuing to put points on the board. Now they line up to kick the extra point. And the PAT is good as they continue to pull away even more. Kickoff team on the field getting set now.
Fields it inside the five yard line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Auburn offense back out on the field. They fumbled it away last time, and now they're in a big hole. They got to react quickly here. That's reeled in. It's Lambert Smith. Tackled quickly after the catch, he'll be short of the marker. Well, we just continue to see this defense make great plays, especially with their tackling. And the awareness to understand we're in the fourth quarter, you're trying to keep this offense inbounds so they keep that clock moving. Pass caught, second down now. Looking to pass, it's Thorne. Throws to the tight end. Another interception. That's number four today. Are you kidding me? And that's a solid return after the interception. I just don't think there's anything else you can do as a play caller. You've got to be able to throw the ball downfield. You just got to hope that your quarterback and receivers can execute when the defense knows it's coming. Here the interception cost them. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. The sure hands, it's Williams. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Chris, another accurate throw by this quarterback, and this guy has just been on fire all game long, over 200 yards passing, but more importantly, making great decisions for this offense and put them in a position to win this game. Play action here on first down. He's escaping the pocket now. And the freshman able to get home with the sack. Oh, really nice by the big fella there at defensive tackle. He never bought into that play-action fake and went right in for the quarterback and brought him down. Those big guys up front will have to regroup now. It's second and 14. Caught behind the line. It's Williams. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. Well, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. So here we go, third down in the red zone, the kind of play that decides football games. To throw, it's Milrow. And it's incomplete in the back corner of the end zone. Interesting call here, Chris, to throw the ball on third and short, unable to come up with a first down. Now here at fourth down, you got a big decision to make. Do you kick the field goal just to add to the lead or maybe go for this here with a chance to drop the hammer? So here comes the kicking team on the field. They'll settle for three. And it's good right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. After building this big lead, they're set to kick it off. And here's the return from inside the five. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And the Auburn offense trots back onto the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Caught over the middle. It's Simmons. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Second down after that completion. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Running back grabs it on the screen. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. Finally, good for them. They come up with a big play like this. Let's face it. Offense has been at a premium for these guys. You wonder where plays like this have been all game long. Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Looking to throw. It's Thorne. 
Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. A well, fourth quarter down by a couple of scores. This offense doing everything they can to not just score points, but do it in a hurry, try to preserve the clock. Here, they're tackled in bounds. They don't pick up a first down. Good job by this defense to keep that clock moving. Looking to chuck it again. Let's it fly out of the wideout. Makes the catch downfield. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. I feel like this quarterback could make this throw in his sleep. It's like clockwork. A curl route against zone. And the quarterback, the only thing is he had to fit it into a tight window for that first down completion. This Auburn offense is moving quickly down the field. Looking to throw it on first down. Fires it to the wideout. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Grab down the middle. It's Lewis. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Well, playing with the lead, good job by this defense to keep the receiver in bounds. Try to keep that clock moving, trying to secure a victory. Third down play, looking for a fresh set of downs. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. Coach elects to try for three points and sends out the field goal unit. This will be an attempt from 52 yards. Let's see if he's got the distance. Long enough and good. So they get the three, but the margin is still huge. Boy, this guy had plenty of leg here, too. Chris, you remember the days when a kick from 50-plus was a major accomplishment? Now these guys knock these out like they're almost automatic. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. He'll return it from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. Kept out of the end zone last time. Had to settle for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Whiteout's now clustered. They'll work the clock here with the running game. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. The offense now facing a third and long from the 26. Got to avoid a mistake here. Back to throw. It's Milrow. That deep shot is caught for a big gain. That's a big gain across midfield all the way to the opponent's 35. Chris, how about this approach by this offensive play caller? Up big, fourth quarter, and they're still taking shots downfield looking for more points. I think they're trying to rub it in here a little bit. Alabama getting set with a first and ten now. Thrown quickly, caught in the right flat. Second down after that run on the previous play. On the run, it's Haynes. 
Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. He's a wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. To stretch the lead, the route is on. That's another touchdown for these guys. Man, they have had a day that you dream about. Whether it's the quarterback, the running back, the receivers, the offensive line, the entire unit has been dominant. And they'll set up for the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And the return starts just inside the end zone. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field. This has been a demolition, a monumental beatdown. Time to just put the controller down and walk away. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Boy, this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. You're hoping to make a play or two to give yourself a belief that things can get better, but it's just been a disastrous day for the offense. The veteran quarterback, lucky that didn't result in a takeaway. How about the defense today? They have played so well. I think the defensive coordinator put together a great plan his kids clearly understood their scheme because they have been aggressive and attacking all game long. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? Looking for his big tight end. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you've got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. Third down try fails, and they'll punt it. He'll call for the fair catch here. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. What a satisfying feeling for this team. Just run out the clock and let the celebration begin. Stock right there at the line, no game. Second down play. Looking for a gap. It's Haynes. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. 